Hey guys, it's Chadwick. I want to show you a quick walkthrough of doing some trimming in Final Cut 10. It's a lot easier than people say it is, and it's also pretty powerful. Um, you can, in fact, do dynamic trimming and um, make cuts while you're playing back your footage. Very similar to Avid. First thing we want to do is uh, get familiar with uh, part of your keyboard. And what we want to do is select an edit point. The keys that I use to do that are the semicolon and quotation keys. They're the ones right next to the return key. That will jump us from edit to edit point. So we have an edit point selected right here. Now we need to select a trim operation on it. Now we don't need to use the, the T trim tool that you find off over uh, under here. Instead, what I like to use is the keyboard as frequently as possible. So the keys you want to use here are going to be the, um, the left bracket, the right bracket, and the uh, backslash key. So these three keys um, right here are like the bread and butter of what you need to be using for trimming. The one that it's on right now, the, um, the backslash key is a roll. You're going to be subtracting and adding frames um, depending uh, which way you're going. You're not changing the overall duration of the timeline. The uh, ripple keys, like a left bracket, is going to be adding and subtracting to the tail of that clip. and kind of the same way the other one is going to be another ripple trim which is going to be um, adding or subtracting to the head of the next clip. The first thing we want to do is set up your preference um, for your play around selection. We do that up here under uh, Final Cut Pro, Preferences, and Editing. I like to have mine set at three seconds before and three seconds after and that's what this means right here, after uh, wherever your playhead is parked. So what we're going to do to make this work great is um, we've got the playhead parked right on the edit point. We have a three second pre and post roll and we activate that by hitting shift forward slash which is going to be right underneath the return key. Just like this. So that's taking it back three seconds and playing three seconds after where my playhead was. Now the reason it's showing me a preview of the cut, kind of like it would in Avid, is because I had the playhead initially parked on the cut. So if I hit stop, it'll jump me back to where the initial point was. Now the other thing we want to need to set up and make sure is on is um, under view playback, just check to make sure loop playback is on. The shortcut for that is Command L. Now that we have an edit point selected, we have the range set to three seconds plus and minus on the playback range, um, we should be good to go. The first thing I like to do is select the incoming clip and play around selection there, and we'll see where it cuts out. It's a little bit early for my taste, so let's, let's see if we let it play a little longer. And um, to make that edit change, what, all we're going to be doing is using what they call the, uh, Final Cut calls the extend edit command, and that would be uh, shift X. So what I'm going to do, it's looping through again here, is hit shift X at about the moment I think the uh, edit should occur. So in this instance, we're not actually going to see the out point, but you can kind of feel where it might need to be at. So I'll let it play through one more time here, and then I'll be hitting shift X at the moment when I think the snowboarder should be cutting out. There. So you can see it, it takes a second for it kind of stutters and um, and then it continues playback. You can see he rides out a little bit smoother. Okay, let's say what if I want to do a roll on this edit instead. That's no problem. You would just select the backslash, which indicates that you know you can see both sides are highlighted. That means you're going to be adding and subtracting frames from one shot to the other. You would do um, shift uh, forward slash right underneath the return key and because we had chosen the um, the backslash key for a roll, whenever we hit shift X, that's sort of the key to all this, is shift X, that's gonna be changing the edit point to that, um, that moment in time, and it doesn't change the duration of the clip. So let's say we wanna change this so it goes right there. You see I just moved it back a little earlier. We're gonna, that's adding frames to the skier and taking them away from the snowboarder. Now I see that there's probably a little bit too much pre-roll for the skier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the um, trim operation to a right bracket. 
And what that's going to allow me to do is take some of that fat off of the, uh, the head of the skier clip. So as soon as I get it to a point that I like it, I'm going to say there. You can see right when it was playing back, I could watch it and choose my edit point. And that was probably a little bit too late. Um, so that's sort of dynamic trimming. But since I did that a little bit too late, and maybe I just want to be a little bit more precise, I can easily just go to the edit point and use the nudge left, nudge right buttons that are at the bottom. Now these are the same position that you use in Avid or Final Cut 7. You just use the comma here and this is going to let me throw some more frames and you see the sequence is rippling out to the bottom of there. Let's say you wanted to do um, a lot, you would just add shift as your modifier. You don't use the M key like in Avid, but um, it's the same kind of idea. You just add the shift button and that lets you adjust either way. You can sort of see. Um, another thing that I kind of like is that you can actually hold the buttons down. So you can hold down your comma button and it's um, it's a little stuttery right now because it's a screen capture, but it's actually um, moving smoothly and you can sort of see the cut roll back. For those of you that want to try just doing simple cuts to take stuff out, you can easily just find a clip and say, hey, well, I want to get rid of stuff between here and there. You can just scrub with the uh, skimmer and hit command B and that just makes a cut. Pretty basic um, but effective. And then you can select ranges and delete like so. One other thing that's really kind of cool and useful, I'll undo that, is a there's a concept of you doing top and tail editing just like you would do in Avid right here in Final Cut. Um, so I'm gonna undo the um, the blade splices that I made right there. And um, to do top and tail editing, you're kind of um, you can do this in, in while it's playing back as well. But I find it useful to use the skimmer to kind of hover, um, you know, rough positioning of where you'd like stuff to begin and end. Um, so, for instance, let's say, hey, I want this clip to be done at this point right here. Then I would just do Option uh, Right Bracket, and then the same kind of thing going into the next clip. You just click option uh, left bracket for the endpoint that will quickly turn that off as well. Now you could easily instead of doing that, I will undo that. Um, another thing that we could do that I've done been doing for years is simple I and then O and then delete, and that will uh, remove stuff like most of us have uh, been using for years with, with all editing applications. Just IO delete.